All right, I'm just gonna kind of wing this one. It's not the best lighting or anything. Hopefully, it'll actually come out pretty clear uh, using the old faithful GoPro. But um, anyway, I've been trying to add a lot of functionality uh, for the vehicle for just uh, kind of like stealth camping, you know, and um, and, and whatnot. But um, anyway, uh, if nobody has one of these, um, you should, you know, if you don't use your CD player, which most people don't anymore, it's really useful. It's only like 20 bucks, and like here's my phone, and you can seriously just, you know, stick it right to it it's magnetic and I mean it, it holds up my whole wallet and my phone so um, infinity apps on Amazon it's like $20 um, I got it like the fast charger for it and then um, plugged into the wall outlet and um, uh, you know like four USBs but those really don't charge very fast at all um, anyway so show the tour I didn't realize I didn't turn my car off so new chickens um, but anyway here's the cool part um, I haven't like I said I haven't really like um, I'll make a finished video once I actually get it all mastered down and stuff like that there's a couple inches that I gotta add to everywhere so um, and, the, and there's a big storm coming in so um, anyway so um, full driving functionality as far as I'm 6'2 and this is as you see my Prius C2 so it's like the smallest Prius there is. It's the most gas efficient vehicle on the road, I think, as far as a hybrid in the city. Um, but that's that's the whole idea of this, is I wanted to make something very functional that I can go very far. I, I've driven this across the United States and back on almost no money at all. So it's you, your butt gets sore before your wallet gets sore. It's like riding a motorcycle but with climate control. So um, Anyway, so, uh, also comfortable for the passenger seat, I'll get into that functionality in a second, but all I gotta do is slide this forward, which I would like to get these replaced with like maybe uh, Chevy Cobalt seats because they would uh, break forward uh, like a coupe usually would because these only go to there, um, but I need to do more research on that, so I don't know how that would actually work. Um, around the back, obviously, and then I put in a uh, thermal cell there, that way kind of keep the keep the light out um, like I said this big mess but um, let's see if I can do this with one hand can't really get the idea Scooting it forward popping this forward and this is the functionality part I said is uh, keeps the keeps that from crushing itself um, you, you could not have this but I think it, it helps the foam a lot because uh, it moves with the leaning um, so, but it's nice because as soon as you get done, you can just drop it and it's done. Um, and that'll get me to the next part is the actual platform. Um, now, I'm trying to find some totes because totes would be much more efficient. Uh, but right now, I have five gallon bucket. So, obviously, a five gallon bucket you can use uh, one of these on if you've got to do number two but as far as the uh, storage I really want to be able to make it storage down here which I don't know if it's really showing up and like I said I'll make a, a remastered version of this but I was just kind of eager to show everybody because I'm not around any of my friends and I just want to show everybody so um, I got padding up to uh, guard the seats and I have padding along the edges here uh, just mainly to uh, to just make it look a little nicer because when, you, when you're trying to cut this mat it's not perfect and you put this rubber around it and it makes it look really nice. But for now I got this rope to secure I'm just going to do a clove hitch here um, just got it running through which I'm not saying I'm going to keep it that way because obviously it doesn't keep it from projectile throwing anything that's inside of that into the back of our heads in the event of a rear end situation but for now let me see if I can do this See, it, it will fold back and just kind of lay, you know, lay down. But I think it would eventually crush those down a little bit and uh, and all that. But I have the foam to guard uh, in any way um, on this. And I, I haven't made a video for a while, so I'm probably rambling a lot more than I should. But like I said, it's not even full of any functional stuff right now. It was just stuff that was in the car because I literally just got done with this. Um, I'm not even going into the details of what I use and wear uh, that much because I really need to think it out before I do it. Um, and the dimensions because anybody that's actually going to be interested in this 
is going to want to know all the dimensions. Um, and obviously I'll be able to improve the length of this if I was to get, um, like, like I said, um, a coupe seat uh, installed instead of uh, the standard Prius seats because they don't, they don't break forward like a coupe would. Um, I cut these to match and uh, with the functionality of it all, I, uh, I've thought about, you know, single camping. Uh, it would be nice for both of these to move independently, but then structural integrity, it's nice for them to both be tied together. So I'm not really sold on what I should do yet with that as far as this should run. But I've also thought maybe to do a, uh, you know, a sliding door lock uh, to lock it in, uh, the option to lock them in together or separate. So I think that would be the way I would go with that. Um, now I'm going to open this back to get a little bit more light. As you can see, it's not really light out. So, um, now keep in mind, I mean, this is a Prius C2, so it's not very large at all. But, uh, when I move this forward, um, I, I do have a significant amount of space. Um, now I'm 6'2", so it doesn't, uh, give me all the space I need, but it does enough to be functional. Um, I'll get in there in a second to show you, but uh, and that's not fully aired up either. Um, essentially, what I did was um, everything is stock still underneath here, uh, as far as the spare tire and jack, because obviously if you're in the middle of Death Valley and uh, <laughs> you blow a tire, um, it would be really terrible. There's some wild clouds over there. Um, Anyway, if you can see here, there is a compartment for about a five inch wide drawer, but I'm not gonna get into all that, I forgot. Um, and then here as well, if you can see, there's a lot more space to be utilized as far as compartments, and I'll get into that more as well. But, um, seven minutes now into the video, um, so that's short enough, I suppose. But I'll show you this part. And, you know, I mean, for winter camping, uh, you're going to have a lot of stuff on your boots and everything. So I've thought about that as far as, you know, say you sit in here, you're going to want to take your boots off and shove them right there, right off the bat. Because it, I've, I've slept in my car in the winter and and it's, it's just a pain if you don't have a place to put your shoes right away. So well, that's what my thought process was behind that. But um, anyway, so keep in mind. Like I said, I am probably 6'3 with my, you can't see anything with this, but anyway, um, you can pull this shut. Um, I'm going to work out blinds to actually pull across and also to anchor into here, run across to there. Um, that way, um, you pull that, pull that across and then it'll block the back from the front. But I really need to do this in sun. I'm just doing this to satisfy some desperate need to tell everybody. But, um, you know, it's kind of like, you'll have some, some more storage up there, but um, I'm going to have to look at this on the computer to see if you can even see anything. But I, I have the foil up in the back. Um, I've also thought of even in the back, um, which obviously you cannot see right now, um, getting someone to professionally fabricate um, the port to where I could put it in window air conditioner right in the back, it wouldn't affect gas mileage whatsoever because the airfoil wouldn't be disturbed. So, um, but it, it's pretty wild, and I mean, it, it's very efficient to put back up. I mean, this this is gonna fold over. Um, these pull right off, um, and I can put those right back. I mean, within. Just a couple minutes, really, you can have this redone. And like I said, that's fine, but I just, my preference would be to have it lockable. Brought this back all the way. Same on the other side. Fighting the storm here. Starting to sprinkle. But see, those are all the way back. Everything's fine, and uh, I'll close that back up here. Ooh, come on! 
and there we go so it's not still not crushing there and and the, and the passenger you know when you're driving on trips the passenger always ends up passing out so this can actually lean back and adjust with it you know um, but I'll put the accessory drawers in here eventually have the storage compartment but it doesn't affect it and uh, it cost about a hundred dollars to do everything and um, take me two hours to put everything back to normal um, uh, as far as stock because I've, I've obviously saved the seats and everything and um, yeah I mean it, it's uh, going across the United States you get anything from uh, 53 to 50 miles per gallon um, you know it, it's it's pretty cool but I need to get an oil change but uh, I don't know I, I'm gonna definitely make this in a in a brighter brighter skies because you can't really even see anything right now but what I also like about the short wheelbase was I was wanting to, to show is you can really drive down pretty in steep terrain um, and it's fine.